Okay, two fun core exercises. <clears throat> if you're doing any like raises or kickouts, that's what I call them anyway, there's actually a much stronger muscles right in the back here that we should really be aiming for. But we can't really get to them with those traditional type of exercises. You can, but not really effective. So, the thing I want to do is get a nice rubber band. This is actually a pretty heavy weight too. I should have, I picked up a too heavy one. But, um, wrap it around. Right, actually I might wrap it around a few more, give it a little bit more strength because actually this is quite a heavy weight. For doing this exercise, probably, you don't need more than, even if you're a 200 pound big fella, 250, you don't need too much. Hold it out and all you do is basically walk. What you'll do is immediately, and look honestly, you can even do it like with, a, with your elbow against your, and just walk back and forth. I'm not going to get out of range of the camera. Um, what happens is it gets right in quite deep. And what this is, a really good core strength exercise if you can't do squats. Um, however many times you walk, that's up to you. I mean, I used to just walk for five straight minutes with left and then five with right. Actually, I used to switch. Sorry, not five and five, it was five minutes and switching. Um, another way to do it is have a bar. What I'll do is I'll put the weight on here and then my hand on and just basically hold the rubber band with my hand. Oh, 33 degrees already. Can't even see. Not difficult to do. The only problem is the weight will move around. This is an easier way to do it if you can't really hold your arm out. The immediate thing you'll notice is it shakes. So all you do, and what, you, what the job is, is to, to remain in the middle of the, it's to remain standing straight up. You will feel that weight shake. And it shakes. Especially if it's seven and a half kilograms. And uh, just go back and forth with it. Like that. Um, just try it for one minute. The great thing with using the bar is your arms aren't going to get as tired. And we're focusing on the core anyway, so let's just move it around. I like to put my hand on top of the band, so at least I know where it is, and I'm not fearing it. So, I'm not fearing it, the band slipping off. You will feel your core shake, trust me, just like that. It is such a fantastic exercise. Because um, yeah. if you walk around for one minute, you will feel it. So, I like that a lot. You will feel it working right down the bottom of your back, as I said. You will feel it working right down there. And if you don't, you're doing it wrong. But anyway, I think I've shown you how to do it. So, good luck, good people. I know you can do it. Get that inner core super strong. And have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.